Generic greetings and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall once again. In the previous episode, we managed to get our clothing store up and running. As you can see, it's all nice and stocked. Yeah, it's fine. It's got shoes, it's got underwear, it's got nice jackets and dresses and things like that. And it's also making us a lot of money, which is, you know, after all, what we're about because, you know, capitalism simulated 2017. Anyway, so. And one of the things I did was go around and make sure we had 24 hour opening on our three stores. So the Minimat, which sells a bit of everything, which is actually the smallest store, yet has the largest stock, which uh, we're just going to move on, a uh, tutorial building. And then we built the Food Mart, which just sells just food. Well, that's that's pretty... Well, no, it sells drink as well. Food and drink, I guess. We're going to have to rename the thing. And then our clothing. So we made it 24 hours. Now, there was a problem with this, and that's because I staffed each of the buildings equally. So if we go over to say manage and a clothing mart, good example, you can see that our staff, you can see where the sales are. They are between, according to this, the major sales are between eight and, I say it wouldn't be about eight, it would be about say 10 to about the peak is seven o'clock. So that's where our our sort of peak is here. We also have, for some reason, a spike about 1 in the morning and it, about 12 o'clock at night. I don't really know why that is, but anyway. Um, so but what I did was have this equally staffed throughout the day and night, which was sort of pointless. We were hiring people to stand there and do nothing. So what I did was fire two stockists, uh, sorry, two cashiers and one stockist. So they don't stock at night anymore. And also, we've only got one cashier at night uh, for the clothing mat and also for the mini mat. They've got the same thing. And that works perfectly well. And because of that, we're earning, uh, I think it's like 2,000 more now because of just the savings of people not have to hire people and have them stand there doing nothing at all. The food mat is slightly different, however. And at night, you can see we've actually got a fairly decent... Uh, fairly decent sales rate. I fired everybody but one cashier and people were leaving. They were not getting served. So I've actually hired, had to hire another one. So yeah, that's the thing. Anyway, in this episode, what we want to do is build a restaurant and we also want to build some um, toilets because there's a lot of people leaving because of the lack of that. So let's crack on. Let's go over to, for a start, research and see where we're at on re restaurants. Our restaurants is almost done, which is great. We'll go to build over to our road works and we're going to build a road down here because obviously this is just the way we're doing things straight across there and then we want to connect it up like so. I also want to go to road work, remove road work and then drop that one down because that's not supposed to be there. It doesn't really have to be removed but we're just, you know, following the same sort of design. Uh, a couple of points. A lot of people have been saying that I'm not using a lot of space, there's all of this gappage, and that is an aesthetic choice, I think I've pointed this out before, but I'll say it again, it is an aesthetic choice that I like the way it looks, where you've got a nice little green gap around the buildings and such, I think it looks quite nice, so that's why we've done that, uh, and you can't really put a building in um, a very small space anywhere. Secondly, a lot of people have pointed out that I'm not really making a mall. I'm making a shopping complex, a bit different. Uh, mall generally implies it's one big building with everything in the same area, whereas this is lots of separate units with buildings, uh, with, sorry, with shops moving into them buildings. So it's not one big thing. Yes, again, you are right. I have tried once to make a very big building and expand that building and add more stuff, but honestly, it's a bit of a nightmare because essentially what you have to do is have a lot of money to start out with, or you have to build a very, very small building at this side, say, and then extend it, like, extend it sort of lengthways. And then you put shops on either side, which is, A, boring. You don't get a very decent look with that. You know, and that's bad. Uh, and secondly, it's difficult for parking because then you have to put a massive amount of parking at the front or around the sides, which again then truncates your building. And I'm just not a big fan. One of these days, I will go around and do that, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I know some people have asked me to build a very big building, connect them all up and such, which we might do that at some point, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, looks like this guy is finishing off building the road, which is fine. We're going to go over to build and then to do you want a road going along here and round that is the question I I'm not sure I was going to put a toilet here and a restaurant here having a road going along and up would be more accurate to what we've got here so I think I will do that so we'll have a road going along and up and then we'll have our building 
in this corner. Now, I'm not going to copy this design because, for a start, it's on the opposite side, so we can't do that. And secondly, I just want it fairly large around here. So this is going to be probably... Are we going to have a road going along this way? I don't think... Oh, I don't know. Maybe building a road across there and up would then give us the right size for this. Okay, that's probably... Yeah, that's the way we're going to go for it, I think. So we'll do that, and then our building will be inside here. Now, we're probably not going to do any... We're not probably not going to have any customer parking or anything like that. I think that this will be one of those things that if people are on site, then they will come and, well, use this facility. But otherwise, they're not going to drive here specifically for the restaurant or the toilet, unless they've sort of got the got the sun visor in their teeth going you need to wait while they're driving down the motorway and then have to quickly park up and uh, charge in but anyway let's go for a build foundations and then we want to build foundations actually not all the way around let's go for I think uh, hang on I need to think about this one do we have I think we do still have to have for the where is it food restaurant requires access cashiers stocks food cooking ranges order counters food dispens so dispensers and yes we do need storage so we do need storage in this place okay that's what i was trying to find out so we'll have build loading zone here so there's a loading zone there similar to this one so this building will be fairly similar this one actually in terms of its style but the building itself will be a little bit longer just because of the design of this thing so it's going to be that size and like that okay so that's the overall size and then we'll crack on see look nobody's coming here nobody's turning oh no sorry someone's turned up and bought what have they bought i don't know but they're going to get on a bus yeah, there they are getting on the bus no, they didn't go on the bus, just waited. Someone just come along and bought a pair of trousers or something. Like I said, I've never known anyone, like, really desperately wanting a pair of trousers or whatever at night. Although, to be fair, I do know someone who called off a game of X-Wing Miniatures that we were scheduled to play because, and I quote, I don't have any trousers. That's what he said. I don't know whether it's the worst excuse possible or he is an absolute lazy shite. And this is not a guy who's you know, 16 or whatever, who's stroppy with his parents and they just haven't done his washing or something like that. He's 30, so I don't know what the hell was going on. I didn't question it. I just went, okay, uh, bye. Uh, I just don't really want to associate with you anymore. Let's go to... Hang on. We need to remove some of these trees. They are getting in the way somewhat. Let's go to remove objects and we can remove these trees. These ones here, these ones here, um, that happen to stick around in different places, I'm not going to remove those. I do like the look of it. In fact, I might even go to objects and scroll down for... Oh, we don't have any. I was going to say if there's any trees anywhere... It looks like you can't build trees. I was going to put some trees in, like, these sections here and make it very, very nice. It would be nice to have, like, some bedding plants or something like that, a little rockery or something um, around here. I mean, you can build pl uh, plant A and B types, but you can't have anything else. Uh, we also haven't got a fountain, which would be nice to put in at some point, but we'll see how that one goes. So we'll max speed this and crack on with this building. Obviously, we've only got one person in at the night, so it's going to take quite a amount of time to get that sorted. We've got 70 grand in the kitty, which is more than enough to build what we uh, are doing here. Obviously, we do need to look out for our objectives. So current objectives are sell 40 different types of products. Currently, we're on 33 out of 40. Turn a daily profit of over 5 grand. We're currently on 4,606 generic units of currency. So very, very close to that. Have 100 customers on site. We've got 60 our maximum, and make 10,000 total sales. We are just over 8,200. So, you know, we'll probably get that done in the next couple of days, which is fine. Uh, current cash is actually going right down, and I'm guessing that's because you don't pay for the foundation in one go anymore. It's based on what you place. At least I assume that is the case. Otherwise, other than that, or there's someone embezzling a lot of cash. <laughs> Let's go to build here, and for some reason that is still not removed. Uh, I think because they're stuck in the wall. Oh well. Let's go to staff door and place a staff door in like so. And then we need to put some double doors in, and I'll probably go for similar sort of design as this one, so it's um, 
one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and then it would be there. And then one, two, three, four, and then it would be on one, two, three, four, there. Yes, that is correct, I believe. Yes, it is correct. Excellent. I mean, I could have just done this, and that would have brought it on the same plane, but that would require someone that isn't stupid. Okay, so, build um, walls, and then we'll have a wall. How big is this one? It goes up and across and down, like so. Yes, it does. Okay, and then back over to building a wall there, don't want that. Uh, we want to have objects and staff door, and we'll have a staff door in... Ooh, this is difficult actually, because I could have a staff door in here, but I think I'm going to put some serving hatches and stuff across there, so perhaps... Actually, perhaps just where we we're going, perhaps in the centre there, I think that's, that's totally fine. So, we will need to go to assign, and then storage, we'll assign this as storage, like that. And then we'll have a fast food restaurant, this thing. But before I do that, I need to work out where the toilets are going to go. So, perhaps, 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 building toilets, well, actually, building and then walls first. Do we have, when you pause it, apparently it pauses the sort of cricket noise. Yes, it does. Very strange. Okay, so, where do I want the toilets? Well, we could put them at the back here and separate them off so it's something like this. I think that will be sufficient. I think so. I think we'll be okay there. Okay. And then objects. Door. It's got glass windows in it, which I'm mm, for a toilet doesn't really sit right with me. Let's go to assign restroom, assign that and that, and we'll manage restroom. So it's going to be well, for a start. We really need to rename it. I don't know why it's it's restroom eight. I don't know why. So it's going to be male and restroom female. Okay, and we'll need to go to build. Scroll down, and we'll have to find everything to go in it. So it needs cubicles and sinks, cubicles and sinks. We could just went with a unisex one, but uh, I don't know, we haven't. So there's the cubicles. And then sinks. And you see, you got urinals as well. See that? There is actually urinals. It's just... Um, oh, actually, do you want a paper dispenser? We do want a paper dispenser. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then paper dispenser. It doesn't... Oh, you can't rotate paper dispensers. Oh, well, looks like we're not going to have them. We're just going to go for the basic whatever it says. So, it says I need toilet sinks and cubicles. That's all we need in here. So, I'm just going to place those. I'm not going to bother do the extra stuff because we just don't need it. Right. So, this is storage. This will be, if we go to assign, our fast food restaurant... One, two, there we go. And we are pretty much going to keep the name the same. I don't think there's any problem with calling it just the fast food restaurant. We could call it the generic fast food restaurant dispersal system or something like that, I don't know, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Go to build, and let's see, we need cashies, stockists, we need other things. Actually, you know what I'll do first? I'll go to manage assigned storage, that one, just so we get that one done, because that one now is... It doesn't say it's ticked. I think it just removes it from the list. Okay, instead of, it says zero of one, but uh, I think it just removes it from the list. So, we need cashiers, stockists, fast food cooking ranges... So I guess we'll go to here, fast food cooking range. And then we need food warmers, which can't be rotated. Understandable, I guess. Um, mm, already regretting my decision of putting the toilets in there because we can't really place these where we want them to be placed and we can't rotate them. So, they'll have to go along here. I'll increase the wall slightly. One, two, three... That should do. Fast food warmers also cannot be rotated. Again, a bit annoying. Um, one, 
two. I don't know if we need any more than that. But let's see how it goes. Um, order counter, I believe it is. I think it is order counter, yes. Um, and assuming we're going to have the wall come up to here. Let's go for one, two, three. Yep, yeah, that'll function, I think. I think that'll function. That's order counters. Uh, oh, soda dispenser. Alright, okay, I'll get rid of that one then. Um, damn it, you can't. You have to go to, you have to go to build and remove objects, and we'll do that. While we're here, actually, we're going to go to walls, place a wall in up to there, and then there for reasons that hopefully will come clear once I go to objects, back up for a staff door, and put a staff door in there. Then we go back down to a fast food dispenser, and then you'll see like the wall go around and hopefully it'll look really cool. And if it doesn't, then sack it. Right over to. Why has he not finished that wall? I'm guessing they've just finished a shift or something like that. So we need cooks, we need stockers, we need cashiers, and we need soda dispensers. So that'll be done. That's technically done. Uh, obviously, we haven't got anywhere for people to sit, which is um, something we need to resolve, which we'll do by simply placing a boatload of these... Um, boatload of these in. Um, how do we want to do this? Probably one, two, three, four leaving a bit of a gap as you can see one two mm, actually no these will go oh they won't go anywhere because i'm out of money oh well uh max speed while we crack on and get some cash oh minus four grand well uh, you can see the <laughs> the amount of money i haven't made there wow okay interesting i didn't think i'd actually go bankrupt never really took much notice of that well I have previously because I knew that while building the the food what's this in here? Uh queues are full, where? The food mart. People are leaving in the food mart because the queues are full. We'll have to sort that out because that was ten people. And there's ter ten occurrences of people leaving a restaurant. We've also got a media supplier and restaurants, which we were aware of. But anyway, yeah, I, I wasn't really paying much attention to the this expenditure. Um we were when we were looking at this, building the cloth clothing area because, well, we're running out of cash when we didn't have a shop at all was always a problem whereas now we are sustainable like we can completely keep on going and eventually get enough money for the food restaurant it's just going to take some amount of time so yeah let's just keep an eye on this you can see there's four people in the food mart it's very very popular and looks like it's making probably decent cash actually and oh one person short look at that yeah we're actually we have to pause it one moment and go to manage it's going to be the food mart, and we're going to hire another person. Because if we go to staff, you can see that, yeah, sales around here are, well, it's chocker. It's absolutely chocker block. So this is just before the end of the night. Actually, what will happen, what's going to happen here, look, loads of the staff are going to disappear, probably. Yeah. And then, this is, this is the night time, and then it bleeds off a bit. Okay, that's not much of a problem. That's okay, we can handle that. So we've got three cashiers, I believe. In the, yeah, in the day, and then we've got two at night. So we actually need to hire another cashier, and it'll be you, because you've got max speed and max patience. And you can be eight till eight hour. well, you start at eight, 12 hour shift. So we've got four people in the daytime now, because we don't want to miss out on them sales, which is, in this case, 20 sales in the food mart. Wow, okay. Let's hope that that does, in fact, go down. Right, over, over to build again. Uh, dining table, grand each, and I could build more, but instead I'm not. Because we have enough of this thing to function. So, scroll down, fast food restaurant, we need to hire um, stockist. So we'll go for you. And it's going to be 8 till 8 for 12 hours. Actually, what I'll do is I'll go to the restaurant first and I'll have this as... We're going to have a 12-hour opening, 8 till 8. And then if that functions and then we get enough people... Here, I will then open it on the night, but it'll be very, very limited staffing. Um, that is built, but it looks fairly terrible. I need to sort of cancel that bit off at the wall. Anyway, um, can I do that? Can I actually remove that? Uh, can you remove? Yeah, you can, but it still goes over there. But it looks okay. Okay, so, manage once more. Um, no point keeping it unpaused. Are these getting okay? Yeah, they're okay here. 
yeah. I know I've got two people in, but there was a couple of times at night where there was problems with stocking. So, we've already got this open, 8 till 8. And then we have some cashier requirements. So we'll go for a cashier and yop, quite good. Again, 8 for 12 hours. We'll hire a cook, which is you. And same deal, 8, 12. And because I don't know what sort of... I don't really know what sort of staffing this requires. I'm going to say two of each. Um, hire a cook, and you're good at that. We'll say two of each, and then a cashier again, and you. And let's see how that goes. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, we'll max speed it, and then obviously people will start turning up here. I'm just going to put some more tables and chairs in up to my max amount, which is that. Although, uh, I've just realised that because of the way this works, because of the way these order counters are placed, you can see that they... Well, you can't actually see, but this these tables will block them. So we don't really want that. So what I'll have to do is go to build remove objects and remove these big seats. And then if we want to change it, what we can... Why the hell was that removed? Did I click that? I must have done. Okay. I guess I'll place another... I won't place another order counter because I don't have enough money. Although people are getting served there, which is... Just dandy, I'm guessing. <laughs> that is so strange. Uh, I need $800 and um, I don't have that amount. There's also lots of rubbish piling up here, which is sort of understandable. Although I don't know why it takes so long to... What? You can't place this object here. That is still there. It is. It's just invisible. Well, that's a new bug. I've never had that before. Uh, right. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> okay. Um, fine. Fine, just move off. We're not even going to question it. So, we've got 14 grand. I'm guessing we've just done uh, an objective. It says, yeah. Well, I'm guessing it just popped up. That's fine. Miss sales opportunities restaurants. Uh, there's no restaurants and they're hungry. It says nearby. Now, remember, if they're over here, this is not classed as nearby. So, maybe, you know, that's the problem there. Looks like people are getting served quite well now that we've got this pretty much sorted. In terms of profit, you can see our max profit ever has been 4,857 generic units of currency. That'll probably go right down now, just because of um, how this is placed and such. And because of this always, mo always loses money in my, my experience. Yeah, 23, minus 23%, so we're losing money on this one. It might take a while to sort it, but let what's really annoying me is... Um, that one there, this bit here that's not even there. So let's go to remove objects and we'll click on that. And oh no, 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 cancel, cancel. Yes, there we go. We've managed to fix it by removing it and then placing it down. <laughs> well, removing it and then um, doing that. There you go. So that's fine. I'm just going to see, make sure people are definitely getting served. There's no one really waiting about. That's fine then. Let's just go to build and over to objects. And what we need to do is put some of these in, which are like um, food court tables. I might just put them around here because people stock up. Uh, sorry, people um, sort of stand around. So I reckon that we can have something like that, you see. So when you're queuing, the queue will go past here. And these are just, you know, these ones, if you want a, a little a booth, you've got a family, maybe you're going to come in, you know, and you could have a nice chatter and whatnot. A little natter. Chatter? Yeah. Have a natter, talk away, things like that. No problem at all. And then you go. Whereas if you just want to rush in, grab a burger or other sustenance, sit down, nom nom nom, then you're straight out, then that's fine. That's what these seats are for. Excellent. Okay. So, what, there's a lot of people at that bus stop there. What we need to do is think about our next store. Now, what sort of things do we have? We have... Um We haven't got bowling. We've gone for tool supply, but we have got appliances, media, electronics, clothing. We've got... Oh, we've done clothing. Chemical supplier? 
chemical supply are we? I don't think we need to have something that's just a chemical supplier, but we haven't got a drugstore. But I mean, it depends what your definition of drugstore is. Sometimes you will just get a pharmacy, and that pharmacy will sell, you know, your paracetamols, your, um, your creams for whatever ails you, things like that, and also your prescription stuff. Um, and then you've got like a, you've got the very big drugstores that might be, um, you know, that sells like shampoos and conditioners and, um, smellies and things like that and everything else and you know soaps and makeup and yeah so it really depends on what sort of thing you want to build we'll probably go for the latter because of how this game works making just a pharmacy like an apothecary wouldn't really work but uh yeah what about instead of needs what do we have uh apparently we have a crash Okay, um, this is problematic. Okay, if this hasn't saved, then I'm going to have to do that all over again. I know there was auto saves on, but, uh, oh, I really hope I can resurrect this. Anyway, I guess I'm going to leave it there because I don't really have much of a choice. If that save is anywhere close, then next episode we will build another star. If it isn't, then, um... That's been a good mini-series, I guess. <laughs> As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.